Leveling the bed on a 3D printer can be tricky, but with this video, hopefully it makes it a little bit easier. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So one of my very first videos was about leveling the bed on a Creality Ender 3. That video has got a ton of views, but I still continue to get questions almost every day about how to level the bed or what's the best way to level the bed. So I'm gonna bring that back with the Ender 3 V2. We're just gonna go over the process, maybe a little bit smoother than I did the first time, but still, it'll be based on Luke Hatfield's help guide like I did in the original video. Leveling the bed, in my opinion, is the most important part before you start printing anything. It can really mean the difference between a print succeeding and a print failing pretty quick. So it's very important that you get this right. We're gonna walk through it quick today. I'm gonna make it as easy as I can, and hopefully when I'm done, you'll know how to level your bed on a printer similar to this, like a pro. Let's do it. So the first thing we need to do is tighten our springs down. So I'm gonna take these wheels at the same time and I'm gonna turn them until they're all the way tight. And you have to do this in pairs. I'm gonna do the front pair first and then the back pair. So the front pair, as you can see, they're actually already tight like that. I'm gonna to reach to the back and I'm just gonna turn them. So one of the cool things about these wheels is they have the directions right on them. And if you look at the wheels, it tells you that if you're turning this way, you're tightening, and if you're turning this way, you're loosening. So tighten this way, loosen this way. So I have all of them all the way tight right now. So now that we're all tight, I need to go ahead and back these out four turns. And I'm actually just gonna do turns like this. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. And you wanna make them as close as possible so it stays the same. I'm gonna do that for the back here. One, two, three, four. I have a feeling that this is actually a little bit higher still, but we can fix that just shortly. This just gets us in a very good starting point. Now what we wanna do is come to the side and I put us on the side shot here. This is our Z motor here. Our Z rod goes all the way up through the back here. And this is our Z end stop. So I'm gonna loosen our Z end stop and let it go down if it can go down any. In my case, I can. I'm gonna bring it down like that. Now what I wanna do is take and pull my bed forward just a little bit and push my nozzle over right onto the bed like this. Take a piece of paper and slide it under there. Now using the Z coupler back here, right here, I'm gonna twist that down just so it comes down and grabs that piece of paper like that. See how it's pretty taut, I can't pull it out. I'm gonna back it off maybe just a half a turn. So it's pretty loose there, but it's catching pretty good right there. So this is exactly where we want this right here. Uh, we don't want it to buckle real tight under there, but we wanna feel just a little bit of drag. Now, grab your Z end stop and push it up till it clicks. If it's loose, there we go. So you'll hear it click in there and then this little switch here will engage. And what that's going to do is lock that position right there as where we want the Z end stop to stop the Z axis when it comes down. So it's right just above the bed, just like that. For the next step, I want to auto home the printer again. So I'm going to let it auto home and just make sure it does not hit that bed when it comes down. And it does not. Then what I want to do is preheat to PLA on the printer. So currently on the Creality Ender 2, you go to prepare, scroll down, preheat PLA. And what that'll do is set the bed at 60 and the nozzle at 200. Now that we're heated up, we want to hit prepare and disable steppers one more time. That'll disable the steppers so you should be able to move your bed back and forth. Now be careful, this will be hot. So you wanna be very careful with that. That's 60 degrees Celsius. And the nozzle here is gonna be 200 degrees Celsius. I like to bring it off the corner about that far and about, about an inch off the corner and an inch back, roughly. Then I'm gonna take a piece of paper and slide it under here, just like this. And with your paper under there, you're gonna move the wheels. Now, we're gonna turn the wheels this way to let the bed come up. So we started turning the wheels and we got to the point where the paper, you can feel it dragging on the nozzle. So I just turn it just a little bit more and you can feel it a little bit more. And 
You don't want it to be able to buckle the paper. So like this, you want to be able to hold that paper and push it all the way through. So if it buckles, that's too tight. But if it's really loose, that's too loose. Now we're going to go to the next corner. I'm going to keep my paper underneath the nozzle at all times because you don't want to damage anything. Slide it right over to that corner. Do the same thing. So I'm going to loosen this up until I feel the drag. And about the same amount of drag as the other side. I'd say about right there. Now what I want to do is go to the back. So to do that, keep your paper underneath, pull the bed towards you, and go to about the same spot in the back. About an inch over, an inch off, right around there. And we're going to do the same thing. All in all, when you're done, this should take you roughly five minutes. Tops. I mean, it, it's much faster than that normally, but this whole process is pretty quick. This one's a little tricky because you have the piece back here that keeps the hot end wires from getting hurt. That's strain relief. So I'm going to do the same thing. There we go, just like that. And that's dragging really nicely. So we went around one time. I'm going to go around two more times just to make sure we're good. And I'm going to check the middle and the end when we're done. Okay, I went around three different times and now I'm in the center. The center's just a little bit looser than the rest, but we can fix that with a little bit of adjustment on the fly when it's printing. Now, the reason why we go around three times is because every time you change a corner, the other corners will change. And by the time you get around the third time, if you're very careful and only turn the wheels a little bit like you have to, it all should equal out and they all should be the same. So now I just did an auto home and I just wanted to make sure that we're not hitting. So I went to auto home, it did its thing, it came back and we're not hitting the bed, which is great. And from this point, you can start your first print, your bed should be leveled. But there is something I wanna show you. So what you may need to do is something called baby stepping to get this dialed in exactly right. So what you do is just start a print, any print will work. When it actually starts printing, you'll see this tune button right here. You wanna click the tune button, scroll down and you'll see something called Z offset right here. Click on that and if you scroll this way and make it a positive number, it goes up. If you scroll backwards and make it a negative number, it goes down. So when the printer is actually printing, you'll want to dial that in just so you get the perfect first layer. Is that when you're in the tune in the Z offset menu, you want to make sure that when you dial this down, either higher or lower, you click the button to actually make it work. If I needed to go up to back to zero, I can go to zero, but I have to click that button for anything to move. If you don't click that button, nothing actually moves when you're trying to dial in your Z offset. Once you dial in your Z offset, uh, that'll give you guys a perfect first layer and you're on to printing. So that's it. We've manually leveled or trammed your bed on the Ender 3 V2. Now you can start printing. Now you may have to adjust the Z offset just a little bit up or down to get that perfect first layer. But I tell you what, you are on the road to success now. That was a pretty easy process and you can do it in under five minutes just like we did. Well, I hope you learned something today and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today. If you did, give me that thumbs up. If you wanna join the channel, hit the subscribe button right here and click that little bell right over here if you wanna get notified anytime we go live on Monday night for hot makes or any other time we put out a great video like this. Check out the rest of the playlist right here.